there was only like one piece that like it really needed to be that big for. And um, the rest was styrofoam packing. I was just like, that's ah, bullshit. <laughs> Up out there, YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe to Raise Chaos for great pop reviews. Spread love. It's the Brooklyn way. Wait a minute. Brooklyn? No, we're in Chicago. Spread love, Chicago way. And welcome back, everybody. My name is Raise Chaos. You've made it back to my channel, and <laughs> it is time. It is time once again for another Wednesday video. I know these kind of feel a little bit out of place, being as how it's October and you want to do a creepy. You want more creepy, creepy things happening for you. But, um, yeah, uh, Ray's get does the, the videos for the uh, comic covers as soon as he gets them. And uh doesn't really matter what month it is. And while I would, oh, I would so love some creepier, some creepier comic covers. <sighs> They haven't done the EC comics. They haven't done... I mean, there's a plethora of, of horror comics out there they could absolutely do with. Um, some relating to, like, main co continuity DC and Marvel. Um, or even Independence. But they just haven't done it yet. Um, I would love to throw out some ideas as far as what properties they should tackle. But until they do... I mean, it's not going to do any good. Um... <laughs> But until they decide to uh, give us what we want, uh, I mean, it's, I'm just happy we had two DC covers <laughs> in a row. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I didn't even care that I hadn't even read the first one or the second one. I've I'd read the first one. Um, <laughs> but I haven't read this one. <laughs> this is, uh, I believe this is the second Rocket Raccoon uh, comic cover that we've gotten so far. Um Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Um, not 100% positive. But uh, this is another Target exclusive. And uh, this is the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, number three. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put this guy away. And we are going to talk about so it. So this, uh, this is Rocket Raccoon number three. Uh, or not Rocket. Guardians of the Ga Galaxy number three. Uh, I believe it came out in 2012. Um, I don't believe I read this one, um, I have a couple of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy trade paperbacks that I haven't gotten to, um, and this could very well be in one of them, um, but, you know, Ray's knows so, already knows so much about these things, and he's so backed up, he's got so many things to read. Oh, it's like hog heaven as far as uh, reading. I love reading new stuff. I love reading old stuff, so it's just, ah. Uh, um this being uh, one of the more popular franchises right now that, I mean, I hate to say it, but this kind of means it gets pushed off to the side a little bit um, because, yeah, well, you know, Ray's doesn't really follow trends that well. Um, yeah, otherwise he'd be doing a lot more different things on his channel. <laughs> but uh, this, uh, like I said, this is uh, kind of just... Another issue. It is another Target exclusive. I think I mentioned that. Um, this is just another one of those situations in which there isn't really anything spectacular in this issue that makes it notable. Um, however, the one thing that I will mention is that this cover itself is an homage. Um, it may have looked a little familiar. Um, it is an homage to Frank Miller's, uh, Wolverine miniseries and the cover on that. Uh, I'll go ahead and and uh, pop up some uh, side by side on that so you can have a look on just how similar these covers are. Um, and it's 100% intentional, um, which I mean that that kind of puts this as a that qu makes it qualify as far as a cover. Um, uh, this, that cover is in my playlist as far as uh, a cover that I already have, I've already covered. The cover that I've already covered. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's that's in the playlist. You can check it out. Um, and, but uh, yeah, just wanted to uh, point that out. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about that because I said a lot at the time. Um, 
but yeah, it is a very, very well, well done homage. And, uh, this is a great cover, um, as far as the figure goes. Um, it's just, I mean, it's great. I mean, it's Rocket Raccoon. Um, would really love to give, uh, as much as I appreciate that them doing this, I, I, I know I sound like a broken record sometimes, but I would have much preferred to give us um, one of the original Rocket Raccoon uh, covers um, from way, way back. Wouldn't have even be a Rocket Raccoon cover because I don't believe that was uh, the comic that he first appeared in. But uh, um, he looked a lot different. And that's one of the things I really wish they would do more of with these covers is show them how they looked at the time, which they've done. They have done that. Um, I just don't think they've done it enough. Uh, I think they go for the more, more, more recognizable look uh, in order to sell it. But uh, some of us, some of us like hardcore geeks um, who want some more of the history. But uh, all in all, this is another great one. Um, really didn't see this one uh, advertised that much before I actually picked it up. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but I did. I did see it. I picked it up. And honestly, I think I got it as soon as it was released uh, as far as getting it ordered and getting it to me. Um, so there wasn't, Ray's gets on these. <laughs> when Ray sees them, he watches them because he can't wait. Can't wait to have them in his collection because, um, I said this before, I'll say it again. The Funko covers are the, fa is Ray's favorite things that they do on, the, do right now. And, um, just can't wait for the next one. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now. Um, let me know if you have read this issue. Um, if you have checked out uh, anything as far as uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, if you've just seen the movies. If you read the comics. Um, what you think about the adaptations. That kind of thing. Just go ahead and start dialogue in the, in the comments below. Because uh, <laughs> I got to get out of here now. But uh, I hope you have a great day and never forget, the life is full of odd moments. You never know when you're going to be defined. <laughs>